got a busy day planned today already been to get groceries get my groceries and get granny's groceries I had to get some extra things this week so I had to go in I usually go in Ingalls and grocery pickup at Walmart but today I had to go in both places because I'm getting ready for Katie's shower really exciting so I've got a big day of getting ready for it I'm going to uh, share with you the details about it first I think but already I want to tell you already on the stove over here I've got my first chore of today is I'm making some yogurt for the shower so I've got my milk coming to heat on the stove I have a video about making yogurt I think and I will link to it or I will link to the recipe on the blind pig and the acorn it's really simple after you get it down the first time it's really simple and it's really tasty yogurt I'm not a huge yogurt fan never have been but I like this yogurt the best of any that I've ever eaten. It's most similar to like Stony Brook. If you're if you're a yogurt lover, maybe you, you've tasted that before. Kind of the texture's the same and the taste, uh, which you could make it any flavor you want, but I usually do vanilla. Anyway, so I've got that going over there. Now, tell you a little bit about the shower. I, I look here on my list and share it with you what we're gonna do. So I'm not doing the shower all by myself. I have some friends who are helping me. Of course, Corey's gonna help me. So I think it's gonna turn out really nice. But these are, we're gonna do it in, in the morning, of a morning, as we would say, of a morning at 10.30. So it'll be more like a brunch shower instead of maybe late in the afternoon or evening showers. So we're gonna have brunch kind of uh, foods to eat. So we're gonna have sausage gravy it's going to be good. We're going to have chocolate gravy. My friend Ginger is going to make her great chocolate gravy. We're going to make quiche. My friend Julia is going to make her great quiche. Orange juice um, and granola for my yogurt. My friend Shannon's going to help me with that. I'm going to have some coffee and creamer for anybody that would want it. I'm going to do the biscuits. Corey's going to help me and I'm sure Matt will help me too because we're going to have to make a lot of biscuits. And we got a ham. So I'll be cooking a ham like Miss Cindy's uh, taught us to make and we'll slice it all up though and that way if people want to have a ham biscuit they could do that we're going to have some really beautiful cupcakes and my friend Donna is in charge of those we're going to do some fruit trays Corey's going to do those um, I'm going to do the yogurt and then we're going to have just jelly in case anybody wants a jelly biscuit and then we're going to do punch I wasn't going to do punch we were just going to do the orange juice and the have some water and then have coffee if anybody wanted coffee and that was just gonna be real simple and just do that but I've forgotten that Katie told me um, back several months ago that if we did have her shower could she have some punch she likes punch so we're gonna do punch and Corey's gonna make it and uh, I think it'll be really nice and I think we'll see I was trying to think oh I know there's gonna be Donna's also told me wasn't on the menu but it'll be great she's gonna bring some chocolate covered strawberries so those will also be delicious so for today, it'll mostly be prepping, like I gotta get my yogurt done so that it can uh, do its thing, turn into yogurt, and then I can put it in the refrigerator so it'll be ready. And uh, the other things will just be mostly, I've gotta pull out stuff and get ready for thinking about decorations, whether we'll be using, what we'll be using for platters and dishes. Donna's gonna bring some of hers. And then I've got some that I want to pull out and use. And uh, it's one of those things you don't ever know exactly what you're going to use and how it's going to work till you get there and start decorating, but you want to have enough of everything just in case so you can see what looks the best. Now, my friend Ginger, she's good at decorating her and Donna both, and so they've really been helping me with that. And she had the ideal to use these blue cannon jars. I've got some of mine over here that uh, ones that I use that are all washed up and fine and just use something simple like baby's breath in them so we're going to do that but I've got some uh, these over here if you can tell they're really really dirty that was there's from granny's basement so just in case I have enough I'm not sure if we would do uh, we have long tables so I'm not sure if we would do one in each middle of the table or maybe some kind of arrangement of two or three just at two points in the table anyway I want to have enough just to make sure when we get there and we looked for uh, the baby's breath this morning. I thought maybe I could get it at Walmart or at Ingalls. They didn't really have any um, and not enough for sure for what we needed uh, for that much. So thankfully, Corey reminded me of our friend Greg and she texted him real quick and he had a truck coming in today. And so he's gonna get us uh, get us some baby's breath. We'll just pick that up. So that, that was great. And I'm so glad Corey remembered because I was thinking, am I gonna have to use artificial or what are we gonna use? So that was a lifesaver from Corey. 
now I think I've got to, I'm starving today. I hadn't eaten breakfast yet, so I'm going to fix me something to eat. I'm going to keep an eye on my milk, and then I'm going to start pulling out the platters and different things that I think I'll, I'll want to use. I cut up an apple and some cheese for my breakfast. I've got some broth in my, my cup here. It's usually what I drink each morning. And I wanted to tell you though about the apple. I've become really obsessed with trying different apples this winter. Of course, I'm just buying them from the grocery store. I don't have them uh, here at, uh, not in cold storage or anything like that. But I was really obsessed with the Evercrisp. I think I told you about that. I like a really sweet apple, but I like for it to be really crunchy. They were so good, but quickly they were gone. Uh, Ingalls has not had them since then. But then last week I noticed that they, and I love Gala and Fuji. Those are probably my favorite go-to apples. Those are the ones we buy most often. But last week I noticed they had something called a sugar bee. So I thought, well, and I, uh, of course, you, we take our computers everywhere we go today. So I researched sugar uh, bee apple right there in the grocery store, and it's told me that it was sweet and crisp. So I got some, and they're really good too. I noticed this morning when I got a few, they're like I almost got the, the few that was left, so they probably won't restock them either. Anyway, it's really, really good. I need the milk to be up to 185 to 190. I think it's almost there. There's our 185, 187, 188, 189, 190. So I'm going to turn it off, and then I've got some cold water in the sink, and I'm going to set the pot in that cold water. Now that I've set it in the cold water, it needs to come down to 120 to 130 before I can add the sugar. I'm going to add vanilla. I'll also add some of my previous yogurt so that it has the live cultures in there. And then once you do that, I'll be ready to put it in my jars. I've already got my jars sterilized. They're sitting there waiting. And then this chore will be done. We'll have yogurt at the shower, which will be great. Okay, we've cooled down, so now there's like a skim on top. I'm going to try to get that out. Get me a spoon here. I've already put my yogurt in. Just flopped it in there. I hadn't started up yet. And then I'm going to put sugar and I'm going to put vanilla. And I just put, just start out with maybe a half a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla. And then I just taste and just keep doing that until I get it like I want it. Okay, I tasted it. I think it's plenty sweet enough, but I'm going to add a little bit more vanilla. If you hear the machine running outside, that's Matt with a pressure washer cleaning something. Okay, I added a little bit more. I added way too much, I'm sure, so I'm not even going to taste it this time. I'm just going to say that's done. Now I'm ready to put it in the jars. Once the jars are all filled, I take a spoon and just go around the edges and get the bubbles out. That doesn't, you don't have to do that. It just makes the texture look prettier on top is really the main thing. But if you didn't do it, it'd be just fine. Now that I've got them all filled, I'm going to, I need to insulate them and keep them warm for several hours. I usually do it overnight, but I probably, since this is during the day, I'll insulate them until I go to bed. And then right before I go to bed, I'll get them out and put them in the refrigerator. But uh, there's different ways of insulating them to keep them warm. Some people use their dehydrator. Some people use an oven. I just use a cooler. I put set the jars in it and pour warm water around them and shut the lid. But there's lots of different ways to do it. I've usually got a little bit left other than the four jars that I use. Sometimes uh, four quart jars. And this was a gallon of milk that I started with. Sometimes I put them in a little, put it in a little glass like this and just make yogurt in a little small glass like that. Most of the time, though, I drink it like it's a milkshake because it really does taste like one. I just got back from the florist. Peachtree Florist was kind enough to order us some baby's breath, so we went and picked it up. I'm not going to take it out or anything. I'm going to wait till we, till we decorate a little bit later. I made Matt run out on the bank and get me some broom sage. I don't know. I just happened to think maybe it would go pretty with it. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Anyway, that's a, a thought if we don't have enough baby's breath that that's something that we could do. Uh, I guess we could have, I could have bought other flowers this morning, but I didn't. So now we're just going to have to figure out how to make it look good. I know Donna's got some um, artificial flowers, so we may add some of those to it, but I'm sure it's going to turn out nice, whatever we end up doing. 
Now I've got to pull out all my platters and stuff that I'm going to take with me because my day is really getting away from me. I know some of the stuff that I wanted to take are in these drawers. So let's see, here's some uh, matches supplied by Miss Cindy. I don't know, I don't want to hate to take everything out, but. Huh. So there's some of them. I love to use, um, I love these, this one's dirty, it'll need to be washed off, but I love to use this color plate. And then I love ones, of course, you know me, sentimental. W. Rogers, this was Woodrow Rogers, this was my uncle and aunt, aunt Wo Uncle Woodrow and Aunt Faye, so I'm going to take that one. This is another just old, plain, pretty one. I'm going to take that one. I think that may have come from Woodrow, too. It's just a, a very funny spider. I think that's Corey. move some of my carvings. I want this one down here on the bottom. I want that one. I think that would be pretty. I might put the ham on that one, the milk glass. Now in the bottom one, I've got, I cleaned these out the other day, so I've got some of my seeds in here. I've got all my Debbie seeds in here. I want to get this white punch bowl though. I want to use it for the punch. Now that I've got the punch bowl out, I won't necessarily use the, the cup, so I'm just going to set them back there in the back. But definitely I'll take the bowl. I have another punch bowl, but this one is sentimental because it come from my family, so I want to use it. This is one of Granny's doilies on the inside of it there. So that will be very pretty for the punch. While I was looking for the platters in the punch bowl, I found the little shoes here. Um, so there's a mate to it. There's the other one. So cute. Dear sweet man, Everett Hall, a dear friend of our family, he was a carver, and he carved these little little boots, a little set of boots for kids uh, in my family. Whenever somebody had a baby, he'd carve them. If he was still alive, I know he'd carve some for, for Katie, but uh, he's been gone a long time now. But inside, he put a, would put a nickel back there. Down in there is a nickel, and he would say that way they'd always have some money, uh, the new baby, you know. These have a pink ribbon, so they don't really go with... You know, thinking of Katie's baby boy shower, we're using blues and creams and whites. Don't really go with that, but they might be cute sitting around somewhere. Or, it makes me think, because they're a carving, uh, Katie is just crazy about the Brastown Carvers and has so many of their carvings, and I've got a lot of them that Katie's gifted me and that I've collected over the years, too. Might We might be able to take some of them and set them around. I'll have to ask Katie and see what she thinks about that. But those platters that I pulled out, and then the ones that I know, I have two or two more down here. I may check on them, but I know Donna's going to bring some, so I think I'll be good on that. But I wanted something big to put my biscuits in. I'm going to have a lot of biscuits, uh, kind of pile them all up high. This wooden bowl and my other wooden bowls is usually what I use, thinking of rolls at Thanksgiving or Christmas or something like that. But um, they don't really go with the colors that we're using for Katie, thinking about the baby blues, this blue here, and the different blues that we're going to have. So I have these two bowls that Miss Cindy gave me years and years ago. I think she got them like they're definitely used. They're old. I'm not sure if she got them at a thrift store or a yard sale or something like that. They're just like ceramic, I guess. I don't know what you even call that. Uh, bowls and definitely they're old they're stained but I, I she knew that I would love them and I do I've used them for different various things over the year thinking about things like this where you got a lot of people and you're trying to serve serve a lot and then also I've used them um, in can't thinking about canning like pickles sometimes you make pickles that have to sit in the you, know, you got to put some ice on them some salt and stuff and let them some spices and let them sit for a while sometimes I use them for that so this one has this really pretty, like, bluish, purplish color. I think I'm going to take it. It's the one I'm going to take for the biscuits. As I was beginning to gather things up to start putting them in the car, I forgot that I didn't show you this, <laughs> the dump truck. I think we're going to use it to put, people can put cards. Mostly that's what we've asked 
for people just to come in celebration of the baby. But if they do want to gift Katie something to, you know, either a gift card or um, something like that to help her with future baby needs because she's been so blessed with um, the outpouring of love that's been given to her so far. Anyway, we thought this would be cute and people could put cards in it. And we've got everything set up. Water bottle, that won't be here. But for the food, I think everything turned out really nice and Katie's really pleased with it. She said she felt very special that we'd all went to this trouble for her. Katie's blowing up her own balloons. <laughs> this is about one of the only things that I can do. I think I got it through there. Come here, I about had it. This is a nifty little little machine. Oh, it is a nifty little machine. It makes it cold. So we've all been working, and I think it turned out really nice. Love the clothesline. That was Donna's ideal, and she brought the little clothes. We run out of clothespins, so we'll have to fix that in the morning. We've got the rocking chair, got the dump truck, got the balloons. And Ginger's ideal about the centerpieces turned out really nice, too, with the blue and the baby's breath. Really, really cute. We're so excited. Today's Katie's shower. Yay for Katie. All of our hard work last night paid off. We don't have as much to do this morning. Donna's bringing in cupcakes and um, Ginger and Corey and Shannon's on their way. Part of our balloons fell last night and our clothesline, so we're gonna have to finish that. And of course, put out all the food and do the last little minute, little touches for Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited. Donna's excited yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> Donna's excited too. And mostly returns, Amazon returns, and um, um, Amy Spring Bank 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 Well, we got it all cleaned up. We're exhausted. We had a lot of help though. Thanks yes. so much for the help so uh, we did that we had. Them. So that was great. 
Now we're ready to go home and we're gonna unpack it all though when we get there, <laughs> but then we're gonna rest. Yeah. But wonderful shower and I hope Katie, hope Katie enjoyed it. I, I think she did. And I felt so blessed. Everyone was really was nice blessed. and uh, it was really a, a great day, great celebration for a little bit. And just think we can do it all again in a couple months. <laughs> yeah, we can do it <laughs> That's all again. That's right, very yeah. shortly we'll just do and it all over And people seemed again. excited. They were saying that, like, don't forget just me. Funny. Yeah, don't forget <laughs> me when it's time for it's, Corey. That's mm -hmm. right, isn't that funny? I was like, yeah. let's just leave it all set up. Just yeah, go. we're very, very blessed. And we hope that you enjoyed seeing this small peak of Katie's celebration. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Always gotta be a ding. Who is that?